Hi Aries, this is your May 2021 general monthly tarot reading. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel. And it's such an honor to be a part of your wondrous experience today. So we're gonna look into your energy for this month. Let's look and see what's in store for you guys. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the month of May. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the month of May. Victim. Who also had this card? Was it, I think it might have been Gemini or might have been Sag. Not quite sure. But somebody else had this card in the same exact spot. So you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Sagittarius. Maybe not. Maybe there's something for you in those readings. Maybe not. If you want to check them out, feel free. I'm not going to judge you. I don't think anyone else will either. So what I'm picking up here is someone went cold, like quick, like at the drop of a hat. It just kind of like, it feels like with the two of cups, switching, an energy of switching. Some of you could feel like this person is your soulmate. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Um, you could also be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But what I'm picking up here is someone became very cold and cutting kind of out of nowhere to the point where it almost feels like this person may have been deceptive because you're like okay there's no way you could drop your feelings like this out of nowhere like you feel like there's something that this person is not telling you like this person may have just cut communication you may have been ghosted or you may have ghosted somebody and now they're wondering like what did what happened you know, what, what happened? There's something here that it's like, it's unclear. It feels unclear. Yeah, you have the moon card. So once again, there's still kind of like an energy of like not entirely knowing the full truth of this scenario. I definitely do think someone here possibly ended a connection, is leaving a connection in the past, deciding to nurture roots in other places. And it's painful, like it doesn't feel good. It's kind of like someone who still had so much left to say, but doesn't get to say it. They kind of just have to accept that like they're probably not gonna get to say any of these things. Yeah, for some of you, you could have been married to this person. You could have been living with this person. King of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Interesting. Strong water sign energy could be a Cancer or a Pisces. But someone here is feeling very called towards um, someone who went cold on them. It's like... I'm seeing this Ace of Cups as an individual, and then I'm seeing the King of Swords as an individual. So it's like two different people here. And the way that this card is kind of um, depicted is you have the King of Swords up here. With this Moon card, it's connecting to the King of Swords. So it's almost like there's maybe some intuitive feelings that you're receiving about this person. Um, or you could also have somebody who comes through and tells you something that proves some kind of intuitive feeling that you had about someone. Because some of you are getting some kind of intuitive feeling with the Moon card and with the Ace of Cups. Because you're very spiritually connected to this person. And that's why you feel so strongly for them. Um, so it's like you have this connection to them so you can feel them on a deeper spiritual level. And you feel like there's something that maybe is not being said or there's something here that's like not not being expressed. That's what I'm feeling. And it's interesting because I think some of you may have a feeling that like this person is in another relationship or that they're starting a relationship elsewhere. Or 
or some of you may be starting a relationship elsewhere. I'm seeing some of you ending one relationship and moving on to another. But it might be in secret with the moon card. It might be in secret. It seems as though there's like a secret connection that's happening here. For some of you, this might have been like the intuitive feeling that you have. You feel like there's something going on um, that you don't know about with this person. Like you might think that they have somebody else. And for some of you, your intuition is definitely on point. Like some of you could be dealing with somebody who's married. And if they're not married, like they could just be putting down roots with someone else. Because I'm seeing somebody who possibly ends one relationship while starting another. Or like for some of you, like you may have just left this person like a week ago and they already have somebody else. Queen of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So what I'm getting with these two cards being present is there's definitely a very strong motherly influence here. It could be your own mother. It could be your person's mother. Um, you could be a mother. But there's some kind of change that's being initiated by a mother. I'm almost seeing like a mother who makes somebody um, break up with their spouse or like something of that nature. Or a mother who makes somebody end a connection. I'm also seeing this energy as some of you are going to be receiving some kind of opportunity, actually a couple of opportunities in the month of May. And you may hear about them through like a friend or a family member, maybe even a mother. Like you may have a mother who comes forth. Maybe this is your own mother. Maybe you have a friend that's a mother or something like that. Um, or maybe you just have a friend that you consider like a mom, you know what I mean? Because they always take care of you. It's something of that nature. They come forth, they present to you some sort of opportunity that can help you move forward, possibly even into another relationship or into another living situation. Because I see somebody's living situation being a primary focus in the month of May. Somebody could be changing their area of residence. You could be moving with the Wheel of Fortune. Like coming to an end with a chapter of your life in one area and then starting a new somewhere else. But I'm definitely seeing new love coming in for sure. Yeah, you have the Page of Swords. You have people who already have an eye on you. <laughs> That's what I'm picking up. Like for some of you, like you could have definitely been in a connection with the King of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Two of Cups. And it possibly could have been a very stable connection. Or you could currently be in a connection with someone. Um, and then there's somebody here that's like keeping an eye on you. So if you're not single, like you may have people who wish you were, okay? That's what I'm picking up. Um, there's definitely people around you who wish you were single if you're not. And they could be expressing that to you in the month of May. Yeah, you have the Two of Cups twice. I'm definitely seeing two separate connections here, guys. So some of you are either dealing with two different people or you could be dealing with somebody who's dealing with two different people. Like I said, some of you are dealing with somebody who either is currently married or maybe just got out of a marriage and they're like still dealing with their past person. Because it feels transitionary with the Wheel of Fortune being present twice. It doesn't feel entirely set in stone yet. So if you're dealing with somebody who is maybe divorcing their partner, 
I see the divorce process continuing. Like this isn't something that's over yet. And it probably won't be over for maybe another like four or five months. Because I'm seeing this kind of dragging out. But like I said, guys, some of you had some sort of intuitive feeling here that someone was maybe not being very honest, especially like in the workplace, in your home as well, like something to do with finances. Or there may have been some kind of intuitive feeling about a financial situation. And I see you putting some kind of living situation to an end. But I'm also picking up somebody who already has roots somewhere else. Like, you may have just gotten out of a relationship and now you're talking to somebody new. You know what I mean? Or um, you may be dealing with somebody who maybe left you for somebody else. Or maybe you left someone for someone else. There's an energy of two separate relationships happening here. And I'm even seeing you being presented with a choice. So I almost feel like it might be you with these two choices in terms of love. This doesn't necessarily even have to be in love either. Like this could be choosing who you're gonna move in with as a roommate or um, choosing where you're gonna move so that you can find a job in that city or you can find a job wherever it is that you're gonna live. You know what I mean? Choosing where your house is gonna be located so that you can pick your job accordingly or you can pick your position accordingly. There's something about a choice that's happening in the month of May, but I feel like for a lot of you it has to do with love. Like you may have two different people that you're going to be picking between because you have quest here. So this is kind of giving me the vibe that like you can walk down two paths. You can take a quest down two paths. Because I'm seeing where there's two individuals here that are still very tied to one another or they are very tied to one another. This could even be somebody new. But for some of you, like this person, I almost, I, I feel like for some of you, like this person doesn't really have much to offer. Like there's one person here that what they're offering is either gonna disappoint you or it's not gonna be aligned with what you're setting as an intention for this relationship. Because the seven of pentacles, it appears twice. So you are setting intentions for what you want a relationship to look like you know you're setting intentions for what you want your perfect job scenario to look like you know you have this image in your mind of what you want this situation to look like but the thing is with the high priestess is it may not manifest that way you know what I mean like the reality of this situation is much different than the situation you are playing out in your head I think they're testing the fire alarms in the other building. So I don't know if you can hear them through the mic, but if you can, you know, just try to ignore them. Um, but I definitely do see where some of you are like setting intentions and you're really trying to like put your mind in a place where like, oh, like we're gonna end up this way or I'm gonna end up doing X, Y, and Z. I'm just saying, try not to have at least such high expectations of this situation because you may get disappointed. And that's kind of what I was picking up with the quest card and all of like the rain that was happening. Like it feels like there's a situation here where you may end up using your emotions over your head and you may just end up getting hurt even worse than you did before. Because you've already been hurt, Aries, with the victim card. You may have been deceived. You may have been blocked, right? Or you may have blocked somebody. Yeah, there, there's a situation here where it's like the path between you and this person or you and this job or whatever, you and this part of your life. Yeah, you have renewal that wants to come up. Beautiful. Just completely adds to what I'm saying. So there's a part of your life right now, Aries, that you're closing with the Four of Swords. Like there's 
you're closing a chapter in your life, Wheel of Fortune and um, Four of Swords, and you're transitioning into this new period of your life. And there are certain experiences and certain things and certain people that you can't take with you into this new experience, into this new version of yourself. So you're being called and you're being tested right now. You're being tested because you have this beautiful new beginning here. And I almost feel like some of you um, are kind of resisting that new beginning because you're caught up in maybe like hope or I don't know, with, with the high priestess and the impatience, the way that he's reaching for this, right, the way that he's reaching for that bubble, it almost feels like a distant hope. Like it doesn't feel real. Does that make sense? Because there's a lot of cups here, there's a lot of swords. It feels very mental. Like some of you are kind of maybe idealizing, right? The high priestess can sometimes indicate delusion. Sometimes. And I'm not saying that you're delusional. Um, but I do feel as though some of you may have unrealistic expectations in terms of a situation. And you may end up getting hurt because you try to pursue those unrealistic expectations rather than focusing on the reality of the situation. You have this beautiful new beginning here, Aries. You are welcome to step into this beautiful new beginning whenever you're ready. It's here. It's here, it's waiting for you, it's happening for you. But I do think that you are the one that has to really initiate this change. You really got to ground yourself, be connected to yourself this month, be connected to your logic this month. Thinking very structured and orderly. That's what you're being called to do this month. Because you have some kind of massive change that's coming your way, guys, and I don't even think you're aware. I think that you might feel anxiety because you know this change is massive, like it's really big. Um, and like there's this subtle anxiety, even if you don't know what this change is, even if you don't know what this new beginning is, you feel something is approaching in your life. Like you know on some level that something is happening, it's bubbling beneath, right? And you might feel anxious because of that. But with the Seven of Cups, like there may not be total clarity on what this new beginning is, but it's big. With the Wheel of Fortune coming up two times, this is really big. So grow towards that. I'm visualizing you like a flower this month, you know, or like just any kind of beautiful plant, right? I love my photosynthesis friends. But what I'm kind of visualizing here is you are growing towards your light. You are taking the baby steps, the beginning steps towards growing to your light. So some of you may feel like you haven't found it yet because the high priestess is a mysterious energy. So there's still some kind of mystery surrounding what you feel your purpose is or what you feel will make you happy even if that's in a relationship or in a job or in your general life there's still some kind of confusion surrounding like what do you want what do you want in a person what do you want in a job what do you want to do that makes you happy like what's going to bring you a sense of peace not even happiness right because happiness is only a temporary emotion if you seek happiness um, all the time you're going to be disappointed but more so a sense of peace like what's going to bring you a sense of contentment and fulfillment within your life in any aspect you are growing towards that and you're being asked to resist and release the things that are holding you back from that the things that have been holding you back from that some of you have this impatience and you're being called to really just like Just breathe. That's all you gotta do, guys. Like, just come back to your breath. It's so important. There's a reason that they teach it in yoga and in anxiety treatment. Breathing. The breath is your vitality. Um, you're being called to connect with that this month, guys, and be super present. Be patient. Don't jump into an opportunity because it seems good in the moment. Really think long-term right now, Aries, because you're making some kind of choice 
in the month of May that is going to affect you on a lifelong level. Like this is a major, major period for you guys. I'm serious. Um, this is something that is going to affect you for years to come. Like this is going to be something very significant in your life. So don't think short term right now. You're being called to think long term. Think of what's going to keep you stable long term. Not right now. But that is what I'm seeing here. If you'd like to book a personal reading, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box. It'll take you to my website and you can book there. But other than that, I'll see you later. Take care and have a beautiful rest of your month, guys. Bye-bye.